hi in this lesson we will be exploring the static files and uh, what are those static files so earlier we had introduced that we are we are creating a HTML page connecting HTML page with that Python and then when we run that Python page it will go towards dot HTML and then it will execute those code which are being executed in the dot HTML file or the in Python so for example in the previous module we had studied that when uh, I need to pass some message and the message will be rendered at um, the web page with the help of customized method hello mail hello flip dot student and so on and so forth but now at the static files we can say that that why is we need a static file so in order to complete a web page we need some buttons we need some headers we need some titles and then we need some beautification for that and to enhance that it is a cumbersome task in the dot html to provide all these so here we need some javascript or css files in order to proceed that in order to complete that use case so the overall scenario is that that we required some of the static file to, to create some of the, our web pages and uh, so that the beautification can be enhanced so that the use case orientation can be enhanced so here this is the overall concept of the static file which are being used and here the static file uh, this javascript and dot css are being so much used widely in the overall uh, web space that they are so much important and they are easy to deploy some beautification some buttons in that and some of the title in that as compared to the html file so here we will be using that uh, in this tutorial we will be adding a button and that button when we click on that button it will generate a welcome message to that so here let's go towards the core implementation so we had created a static folder where we have hello.js then we have static file.py which will be executed and then now it will go toward the index.html which is being passed here so now let's go toward this so we have static files.py I had used static example at that local host 5000 the port is 5000 and then slash when we go to static example it will it will move towards the index.html HTML and uh, it will uh, and it will go toward this it will create a button here time because I had specified input type button then it will say that on click so what does it mean that when the button being clicked what function is being should be executed so I am saying say hello should be executed and then we have a value means that on button what it should be printed so here click to show a welcome message and where this say hello method is being defined so we have hello.js and it have defined this method that hello to flip dot a student who are learning flask okay so with the help of this we can easily go towards this so now let's create a, a static files dot py uh, in the command prompt so python static file static underscore files dot py and then when we hit enter it will run the uh, server for us and when we go towards this and let's go to a static example and let's go towards this and here we have one local host or 127.0.1 colon 5000 this is a port number slash tag example and it will it will give us the click to show a welcome message and when I go towards this it will say that hello to flip dot student who are learning flash so all those things are being developed enough in this format so that now the the another task is that that uh, I take this home assignment that please use this this file to generate us a, 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 a customized message for your name against your name so hello Sarah hello web hello mayor hello Lakshmi and so on and so forth so here these these are the things which you can be created and with the help of the advancement of this static hello.json or the index.json file can be that we can add some of the CSS in that we can add some of the headers in that so that the overall web page can be looked in a in a format that it is being appealing to our eyes and it creates or it it fulfills the business in business use case so please go through this and uh, implement this so that you can have a better understanding of the static file example 